Okay, so today I will show you the new, the new function uh, for uh, bundling individual wires. As you remember, uh, we already had a wire and a cable. Now we have a third option, and this is called uh, bundle. In a bundle, you can have uh, several wires with different diameters, and there is no limit. It will be called from the uh, toolbox at this moment. So in the toolbox, I open the toolbox, and you will see this function to define a cable bundle. So first we should start actually a new uh, harness. Okay. And now we do the same. Uh, this is the uh, main menu to define a, a cable bundle. Uh, all you have to do is uh, select from the wire list individual wires and place them um, you know to build a bundle okay so you can uh, i will just uh, pick just uh, some wires with different colors uh, to show you you know give you a better visualization uh, there is no limit uh, you can put you know as many as you want uh, there is this small uh, construction point in the middle. Uh, this is the the middle of the wire, uh, the, the middle of the cable jacket. Uh, so try to place your circles around it. Uh, but even if you make you make a mistake, you have the option to delete any uh, circle or uh, to move it. So I'm just putting here a few more. Yeah, 14, 15, we got 16. You know, we can, if you do something wrong, you can just uh, move, you know, individual wires, or you can move them all, you know, from one point to other point. Once you are finished, you know, you have to put a jacket around it, or you can put the jacket in the beginning and then try to fit the um, circles. So I am. You can give a diameter or you can simply uh, play up and down with the jacket size. In our case, you know, I'm just uh, trying to fit everything inside and uh, you can just move the jacket, you know, from point to point. Actually, we are moving this uh, construction point, which is the center. So uh, our it looks fine now and we got you know several wires inside with different diameters I will just give a name and then uh, store on this definition into our library when I push this button it will store and the menu will stay open if I push this button it will store and the menu will close okay let's keep it open and check as you see you bundle this here we can select actually you know from this menu also existing bundles to uh, just to edit, for instance, this one. Okay, so this is actually a, also how to you know edit existing combinations. If you want to delete one, just use this uh, third column and mark what to delete, and then you can delete. The uh, bundle library is in the same location, in the same folder as the cable library. So once you know where your cable library is, you can also locate your bundle library. Now, in every um, function where you can draw a cable, you have you also have the option to draw a bundle. All you have to do, do is actually go and select the bundle. As you see, wire, cable, and bundle now, and I'm selecting the bundle, and everything else is the same. Just uh, as you did before, you can draw your, you know, check it. And um, anytime, if you want to split them, just go to the split option and split. Yeah, as you see here, you can split it as you did with the cables. Now we can do it with the bundles. Everything is the same. Uh, so on the functions where you can use cables, you can use the bundles now. All right. Um, then we have another option here. Uh, we have seen that um, if you do individual, uh, here is the option do not uh, update the solids. Why? Because if you have many and each time you update the solid, 
it takes like two three seconds to update the complete uh, bundle you know for the people uh, who want to save the time and and not wait for each update you can now select uh, in this move cable endpoint function not to update in this case once you click on a wire you know it will automatically turn into a wireframe and so you can do now the, the wireframe uh, you know much faster and then once you finish you will do the update but as you see here there is this uh, you know small problem with the version 19 and all the wires even though they have different colors are shown in green color on my screen it may be different on yours maybe there's an update for version 19 where it will work actually all those wires have already attached you know colors this is green okay and this one is for example blue but as you see, even though there's a blue color, it shows in green. Uh, as I said, it may be maybe in my version, but uh, even though the edge colors are set, you know, every every wire is shown in green color. I've checked the same thing with the version 20. It works. Version 20, you get different colors for each. And uh, like I said, maybe in your 19 version will be different. Okay, then once you have finished, you can just click and you will do the update. Update is always correctly because the wires already have the correct color. It's just the viewport doesn't show the uh, edge color. Alright, so this is like I said, uh, this is the same in every uh, function. Now let's check the other one. Let's make a polygon. And when we do the polygon, I will again select the, the bundle. You know, okay, like this, for instance and we can split again here okay actually that's all you know as you see it works now like it used to work for uh, with cables thank you